What's up, people of YouTube? It's the Universal Gamer here, and um, this is a random police shootout that just happened. You know, that's one thing I love about this game. A lot of random events happen, you know, out of nowhere. I just was driving along and I seen a shootout happening, so I decided to just watch. I could have helped the bad guys or I could have um, helped the police, but I decided to watch. And then, as you can see, the cops won, and I took the bad guys' uh, merchandise that they were stealing. But as you can see how realistic the game is, like you got forensics uh, showed up onto the scene and uh, looking at the bodies and stuff like that. Um, you know, right after it happened, the ambulance sped up, uh, came here real quick and hopped out, you know, to do their jobs and, you know. These are the things I love about GTA, you know. It has its, it has its uh, tongue-in-cheek moments, but at the same time, it, it's more of a realistic, open-world city feel, you know, as far as story and everything, and gameplay and all that, so. So, um, basically, I got a destination marked on my uh, map right now, and basically, I'm about to go pick up some weapons. There should be some hidden weapons over here somewhere. Uh, as you can see, I got most of the map uh, explored. Didn't want to do too much gameplay on this game because I want people to enjoy this game for themselves. You know, IGN do do a walkthrough of every major game, and I don't see why people watch that. Like that's just ridiculous. Like you're you're killing the experience for yourself. You know, in my opinion. So we're gonna drive along here, and um, I'm enjoying the game, man. There's just so much stuff to do. Um, I can I can spend 30 minutes talking about the driving all by itself. You know, it's more realistic. The traffic feels super real. You know, I thought this was, was gonna be like every other GTA game where all I gotta do is park a go park a car in the middle of the street and then let everybody stop and then steal what car I want. But no, people honk their horn, they swerve around you and flip you the middle finger and stuff because you're holding up traffic and stuff. Like literally, yeah, that happens in the game if you haven't played this game. Um, they talk stuff. Um, sometimes if you walk up to a car, if they know you're about to steal it, they hurry up and drive away real quick and stuff like that. Um, I like all these random events that happen. You know, stuff will pop up on your radar. Stuff will pop up on your on your map out of nowhere, and you can choose to you know help somebody get their wallet back, or you know help help somebody get their bike back that somebody just stole, or you know a hitchhiker maybe you know wanting a ride, you can decide to give them a ride, and then that's a story in itself, you know. Um, so I'm enjoying those. They're cute, but they're stupid. So like I said before, playing this game is making me more excited to play it on PC, you know. Um, that's all I can keep thinking about. Every time I see something amazing that looks so cool, I just can't wait to see how it would turn out, like how it would be, how the experience would be more better on PC. You know, because the game looks good for running on this hardware. It looks, it looks, it looks okay, you know, it doesn't look amazing, but it looks real good. It just shows you that it's gonna look amazing when it, when it does port to um, PC and next gen consoles. Oh, the rain effects. That's another thing I love. And I'm going to talk about more about GTA 5 inside my Gamers Tube cast coming up soon. I got a lot of video work to uh, uh, edit, but um, that'll be coming up soon. But um, the rain effects, I, I even like that because, like, when it first starts raining, everything doesn't get wet right away. Like, it feels realistic. Like, the road gets, like, gradual, gradually wet and stuff like that. And then, like, the, even the dirt, like, it gets, like, it turns to that muddy type look and stuff like that. Like, it's, it's, it's cool. 
Now, how do I get through here? Do I blast through here? What is this place? Uh, I don't like the feel of this place. Let me see if I can sneak in a different way. There's supposed to be an RPG, some armor, and uh, I think an assault rifle, I think, inside here. I decided to look inside my strategy guide for the first time and find some hidden weapons and stuff. So, you know. I'm gonna see if I can stand on top of my car and hop over this fence. If I can do that, that'd be amazing. Yep. This freaking game is D-O-P-E. So, um, it should be a church inside here somewhere. Let me, actually, let me creep around. You can go stealthy and stuff. Because I think this is a restricted area. I think I'm going to start getting attacked. Let me see what weapons I got. See, I got a hefty amount of weapons. So... I'm not I'm not slacking on the weapons whatsoever and I got some armor on already. Oh, this is like a little town. I don't think it's nothing bad about this place. That's a bad ride. Hey there! Hey! New there! Please don't leave my face. I don't know all about you. Mm -hmm. you That's another thing I love too, like the random chatter that that goes on. Up oh, here we go. RPG right there. Picked up the RPG. Let me see. Did it replace something? What? I didn't pick it up. I think it just gave me some more grenade launcher bullets. That's what it probably did. Yeah, but if you want to find hidden weapons and, and stuff like that, like find like all kind of other hidden stuff after you f uh, finish the game or if you just get bored, I recommend getting the strategy guide because like it's cool, you know. Of course, I don't use it for the story because that kills it when you use strategy guides for story unless you're really stuck or something and you really can't figure it out. But for the most part, I don't like using it for any story mode. I like using it for like the extras and the, and the side activities that I probably didn't find and I probably overlooked or something like that. Oh, damn, I'm about to get attacked by a coyote, it looks like. Oh, damn it, it's Mountain Lion. Damn! That nigga was my plan. So as you see, I'm using free aim. I don't, I don't, I can't stand auto aim inside GTA. It makes it feel too damn easy. You know, every time I see gameplay of Red Dead Redemption, I never played that game, you know, call me what you want. I just haven't had a chance to get into that game. Um, but, uh, cause I've been busy with other games and stuff, but, um, yeah, man, um, I don't, I don't like auto aim. I'm using completely free, free aim. I've been doing a pretty, pretty good job at the game while doing free aim, you know, not even aim assist. That's off too. See, I got $176,000. Uh, your money is separated between each character. So whatever job you do with certain characters, that's what uh, money you got. Speaking of, I just want to do some... Go to my other character. You know, a lot of people have been wanting me to do some gameplay. Not gonna do too much, you know, just, this is pretty much an impressions video and, you know, just showing you guys some random stuff and stuff like that. So right now I'm switching characters. Uh, this is the house. I ain't gonna give no spoilers, but this is this is my new house. Which I'm trying to make this happen in real life. I'm not trying to, but I am going to make this happen because I'm motivated. I'm determined to make this happen. Maybe not nothing this big. I don't need nothing this big. Yeah, it's a nice ass house though, man. The other thing I like about this game is that the areas, the environments, uh, this is supposed to be, you know, uh, um, like G, uh, not GTA, but supposed to be, <laughs> supposed to be like uh, Los Angeles. You're inside Los Angeles, and they actually got some key locations, like this location right here. Let me cut this radio off. Like this location right here. Like I drove inside this location to go to a mansion when I filmed a uh, uh, independent movie for somebody, or filmed a couple of scenes for somebody, or whatever. Um, 
and this actually feels legit like these back streets these these uh the hills that you drive up it's like it's like a back alley but i don't know i can't explain this area but i've been here inside la like a month ago i was here driving up these streets into up these back uh hills and stuff like that it looks like a, it's like narrow streets and stuff and they actually have all these different turns and everything all you see is a whole bunch of nice houses on the hills and stuff like that and that's pretty much how it is how it is it looks like legit it looks just like this now the houses ain't exactly the same houses but it looks just like the area and it does have these type of houses in this area the streets look the same and everything i was freaking out I'm like damn even when i went to santa monica pier that's what I, I went there too about a month ago as well um and uh santa monica pier like they got they got a lot of that stuff like real good like even the stores and stuff around there it looks just like you're inside that area and i was just there not too long ago you know hanging out and that was crazy i was like i it felt like i was having deja vu like i was inside i was there without being there so right now i'm about to go ahead and just do a do a mission I kind of driving feels so much realistic where it makes you want to drive correctly because you know it's how every GTA game everybody drive all sloppy even inside this game as well too but like this one what the hell oh this crazy ass dude <laughs> this game has some ridiculous missions man like it is like some of these missions are amazing dude People like I'm not being racist, but white people don't understand how how bad they make yourself look when they try and talk like that. Like, come on, dude, you making yourself look a fool. <laughs> but it's funny though. And some links so you can see who they are, right? Yeah, whatever, man. All right. Hey, you know, and I promise you, fame ain't changed me one bit. Yeah, I'm afraid you would say that. Ah, oh, ah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Wow, and it's crazy man like i noticed a lot of stuff inside this game like they recorded a lot of freaking audio for this game because like i failed a mission like five times in a row a couple of times and i swear like sometimes the audio is completely different because you know how sometimes you do a mission you fail you go back to the same mission you got to hear the same old talking again the same old audio cues and it's different sometimes it's different sometimes like one time i failed a mission three times in a row and it was different every single time it was, they still talk at the right time they're supposed to talk, but it was something different all the time to mix it up and have it be fresh. So it won't feel like, so you won't have to keep on hearing the same old stuff. It's like little things like that, that developers like Rockstar do that a lot of fans probably won't even realize. Like you won't even realize it, but like it's some of those gradual things that you're not supposed to realize. It's just something that you just, it's something that you really can't put your finger on that's, that, that you find amazing, but you know, that most people won't notice what it is, but they, they they notice that it's something amazing because it make them, it's making them feel good. I don't know. I know I didn't explain that quite good, but you know. So um, yeah, and there is nudity inside this game, like literally. So just to throw that out there. So this is the car. This is the first car. This is actually. Uh, my character's car this is the car well everybody's character car this is the car that you get that's actually yours and that and even if you damage it or you get it blown up or something it still spawns back in and i fixed it up i put some uh black paint some black shiny paint silver uh hood and stuff like that and i think i changed the rims i'm not sure i also brought a bentley you know i, I give i got i did my first big job and i just had to get me a uh I was looking, I went online on my phone and ordered me a, a Bentley to my garage. And of course it's not called a Bentley inside this game, but like, since that's my dream car, I spent like uh, two thirds of my uh, money that I did from the heist to buy that car. And now I think I messed up. I think I, I, think I don't have that car no more. Cause I ended up switching characters while I was driving that car. 
and I didn't park it inside my garage. So when I go to my garage, it's not there. So I'm gonna go to my garage right now. It's right here. All right, so I'm at my garage right now. About to see if my Bentley pop back up inside here. You know, that's my dream car, so that's the first car I had to buy. Actually, no, let me move this out the way. Also, bro, I also had another car I got inside here too as well. Would you come on, dang? Like little stuff like that, how the car wouldn't even start right up. <laughs> I like that. One time my car wouldn't even start at all. I had to find a whole different car. Yeah, my Bentley ain't inside here no more. That's stupid. But I still got this car inside here though, so whatever. Oh, whatever. Let me see if I can do I got enough to order another one. My phone ain't popping out. I can't bring my phone up on side here. Okay, let me leave out. I also got Rolls Royce cars inside this game too as well. So I have, bro, and this is like a Bugatti right here. It's a million dollars. This is the Bentley I brought, 185,000. I'm not about to buy another one though. That was a freaking lot of damn money. Lamborghini right here, Lambo. So overall, man, this game is an amazing game, man. Um, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, haven't got boring yet. You know, the missions are refreshing. The voice acting is super top notch, like ultra top notch, like movie quality top notch. Um, make you laugh your ass off top notch. Um, the characters are so different, but you know, feel so unique inside their own different ways. Um, the different things you can do, you can play golf, play tennis, play darts, um, race, um, fly airplanes, do your own little, you got own, you got side missions with, with airplanes as well. Um, you can buy property. Um, the stuff is expensive. It's like, I think it's like one for one. Like a lot of the stuff costs millions of dollars. Like you're not going to just buy a property for like a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars. You know, this stuff is like realistic. You know, there's one property that costs fifteen million dollars if I'm not mistaken. You know, um, I'm still trying to figure out, you know, they're not letting me buy no houses yet. You know, I haven't seen no houses for, for sale yet. I think I only seen one house for sale, which I kind of, that's kind of disappointing. I can buy garages and stuff to park my cars in. Um, I can buy hangars to park my helicopters and jets and, and airplanes and stuff and whatnot. Um, So yeah, man. Um, for the people that haven't picked this game up, I don't know what the hell you waiting on. Like to tell you the truth, I don't care if we don't play GTA. Like I still don't understand what the hell you waiting on. Like this is one of those games. It's, this is like 300, the movie 300. Like a lot of people are saying, well, I don't watch movies like 300. You know, I don't really like that kind of type of movies. You know, like Sword and Shields and combat and stuff and. I'm like, it doesn't matter. That movie is an amazing movie. It don't, even if you don't like those type of movies, that's you'll still love that movie because that, what the hell? Because that movie is amazing. It's like this game. Even if you don't play open world games or you don't like games like this, still, it's just, just for the story aspect of it, just to, you know, for the, the deep moments and stuff like that, just for the random stuff, you know? So I'm about to do a race and I'm about to go ahead and end this video, people. Thank you guys for watching. I can't wait to do stuff like this online. 
you know, with all my friends just doing some random stuff, man. It's going to be amazing. Damn, dude, this is fast. I'm going so damn slow. I mainly like the off-road races. That's what I like. I wonder if I can shoot the dudes. Nope. Flip dudes off though. I like the little uh, water effects too, like how they actually have waves and stuff and and things of that nature. Which makes me can't wait to see it on PC. Like, you know, what they do with all the little different effects. I'm telling you, man. So let's see what that PC do, though. <laughs> what that PC do, though. Shoot! I messed up. So thank you guys for watching this, man. It's been the Universal Gamer, and I am out. Peace.